there's an angel in the sky. Okay, so on to which soap we're making today. We're actually making peppermint cream. And I'm just dispensing that lye solution into the wall, into the oils now. Again, just gently. Now, I'm thinking I might make at least one other Christmas soap, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. So, if you can write in the comments below which soap you would actually like me to make probably one from the past or you can come up with something else um i'd love that um so i might do another one or another two maybe so just let me know in the comments do your descriptions or if you want to send me some drawings you can send those to my website um link in the description box below the video for that um, if you're on, an, on a desktop, just click show more. If there isn't a show more, then there's a downward pointing arrow. Just click any of the downward pointing arrows and the description box will open up. A link to my website is in that description box. And then you can send me drawings or whatever you want to do or a description through the website. So if you, ha if you don't want to do that, you can just do it in a comment below the video. All right, let's blend. So we're going to add some brown oxide to this. I'll just try two teaspoonfuls for now because it does take quite a lot of brown oxide to get a nice deep brown chocolatey colour.
Okay, so you'll notice when I put the blender on, I actually reduce uh, the volume on the video. And it's something I'd never thought of before, but um, someone had pointed out that they wear earphones when they're watching the video. I don't even think it was about blending, but um, it did never cross my mind, believe it or not, that people actually watch the videos while um, with earphones. It had never crossed my mind before that people watch the video with earphones on. And so, yeah, I guess if the music blasts in really loud or the blender starts up and you're wearing earphones, it's probably a little bit uncomfortable to watch. So that's why I reduce the volume um, with certain things. Um, and actually, it sounds a lot better. I'm glad they pointed it out, really, because it's it's a lot better. So if you watch and you wear headphones or anything like that, let me know if there's anything other than the music or the blender. Apart from my voice, of course. <laughs> uh, where the volume needs to be reduced. Obviously, I've got to talk in the videos. I can't reduce the volume when I'm talking. Although I would love to reduce it because I hate listening to myself. Um, and then why am I making some peppermint cream soap this year is because someone had said that it's a husband's favourite and I thought again it's the mint isn't it men love mint so another mint soap for the men in our lives uh, is this one only this one is chocolate and mint which is even better than just mint on its own all right, so let's add some fragrance, shall we? And this is Peppermint Patty uh, from Nature's Garden. We call them peppermint creams in the UK or after eights. Um, because this is a full batch, I'm going to add 200 mils of fragrance Just make sure you give it a good stir. This will get rid of some of the air bubbles that you've just created with the blender. But it doesn't matter too much for this soap because this is going to be the inners of the soap, not the outers. We'll be doing something else to the outers. Just make sure you scrape all along the bottom all the way around the edges just to get any unmixed butter mixed in there into the loaf mould. I'm just pouring it up to the level of those clips and then I'm going to put the leftovers in a bag so I can use those that for embeds or something at a later date so I'm just going to pour what I've got left over here into a jug first 
amazing how much soap batter you can get out of your your pan by scraping it. And then I'm just taking a food bag and I'm just going to pour the soap straight into that food bag. And then I'm just going to zip lock that up, just leave one end open just to squeeze out some of the air and then zip it up, just put it to one side and leave it there until you want to use it. And then when you're using brown oxide it can make a lot of mess. So just take some kitchen roll and just wipe your spoons off and your jugs. Wipe all the excess off there. So you can do the same with your jug and your pan and, and everything. And then that will not make as much mess when you're washing it up in the sink. Okay, so now it's time to cut these into slices. I'm going to cut them about, let me just get my ruler. They're being cut at exactly three centimetres, so one point, is that, I don't know, is it about 1.2 inches Obviously it's just a plain brown piece of soap, but we're going to dip them like we did last year. I just thought doing them in a loaf mould I can get all the slices um, exactly the same size last year when I made them because um, I made them in the slab mould it was hard to get all the slices exactly the same so I'm not going to have that problem this time it's just quite hard to cut slab moulds um, into identical slab sizes if you haven't got a proper slab mold cutter now someone was going to be sending me one but I think they've forgotten or they've changed their minds um, so I didn't ever get it but I will get one eventually So I'm just going to cut a slither off this end here.
have to say it does smell absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Just delicious. It always reminds me of Christmas. Peppermint creams. Always. I love them as well. But I prefer the milk chocolate creams to the dark chocolate. I'm not that... I mean, I like the dark chocolate ones, but I'm not that keen on them. But the milk ones, I absolutely adore. But there aren't that many available. Uh, so, right. What we're going to do now is... We're going to trim them up. Just put a bit of kitchen towel down and then just take a regular potato peeler and just trim the edges off like so all the way around Around midnight, way up high, there's an angel in the sky. The glitter and the shine, she must be divine. What a night, what a sight. Ring the bell. Loud and clear Have the reindeers Reappear Take my hand You promised land Here We go That's it So just take your Scraps like so Just squeeze them all up Doesn't doesn't make much soap. It. and there's your soap door just squeeze it all down and just keep squeezing it until it's all mushed together And considering that was just made yesterday, it's already usable. So there we are with the extra little end pieces of soap that we had left over and the scrapings. We've ended up with a great big block and not a great big block, but a great, I'm going to say it again, a great big block. We've ended up with a, a nice chunk of soap dough. So I'm going to pop that in a food safe bag. Okay, the next step is to put some lolly sticks in there. 
If you remember last year, I used kebab sticks, but they weren't strong enough to hold the soap, the whole bar of soap while I was dipping. I've actually obviously made some sample sizes as well. So if you want, if you're interested in buying these lolly sticks, I've got a link, link in the description box to those on Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lolly stick in each end and you might wonder why I need to put one in every soap. Well when you're dipping you dip the soap and then take it out and lie it down. Um, I won't be able to hold the bar to pull the lolly stick out so it would be ideal if you could stick one in, dip it unmold it and then pull the stick out and then move on to the next one but you can actually do that obviously for obvious reasons you would get soap dough all over your fingers so we're just going to push the lolly sticks straight into the end here put them in quite a long way because it needs to be nice and strong And we'll be able to wash those lolly sticks off later and reuse them. That one hasn't gone in very straight so I'm going to put it in the other end instead. So what I've got in here is a third of a batch, a third of my full size batch. I'm hoping this will be enough for dipping. And if you want to know what temperature I soap at, because people always ask me that question, I'll do it in Celsius today. It's 30 degrees. As you can see right I didn't realize but I've run out of my chocolate mica which I get from um, which I get from TKB trading so we're gonna add in the brown oxide again about three teaspoonfuls and I'm also just going to add about a quarter of a teaspoonful of black oxide and see what we get.
adding some more black oxide so I think we're going to be at one and a half teaspoonfuls of black oxide because I want this to be dark chocolate not milk That's much, much darker, isn't it? So there's the two colours there. You can see the difference. Okay, so let's dip these, shall we? I haven't let the batter get as thick as I did last year, although I have let it thicken up quite a lot. It's not too thick. Last year it was a bit too thick. And the batter got thicker the more I dipped um, and it was far too thick by the time I got to, to the end ones so let's just dip them shall we so just like when people are dipping in chocolate and making cakes you just need to shake the excess off And then we're going to lay them, we're just going to lay them on the worktop like we did last time because I like to get that little, little bit of a smudge on the bottom. So this is what happens when you're wearing gloves that are far too long for you. They end up dipping in the soap. So I'm going to take that off. But I don't recommend you take your gloves off if you're doing this. Just make sure if you do take your gloves off. You don't touch that soap batter at all. Now these bits are going to need mopping up. Because if you don't mop them up, they're going to stick to another soap. Sort of feel like the batter's still a little bit runny, but... much better with these sticks on much better Let's see if we can just fit them in between because I haven't got that much space so I've sent my wishes far to get you in every way I had given up hope when the snow started falling but then I knew it was 
was you around midnight way up high there's an angel every night take my hand you promised land Lifting it off with a brush. I'm gonna leave it. Oh, it still crinkles up. It likes to stick to your finger and just push it down with the paper. Trying to get it on in a, in a, it's square, but it's not working. These people who have gold leaf ceilings are obviously very clever. Right, let's see if we can do this one better. That was much better. Around midnight, way up high, there's an angel in the sky. The glitter and the shine, she must be divine. What a night, what a sight Ring the bells, loud and clear Have the reindeer And here we are Some peppermint cream soaps All to go along with our Christmas products So they're the full bars, I haven't made as many as the other slices, as the other loaves and these are the smaller bars that are going to go in with the Christmas soap pack 
all right everyone i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you all very soon for another video from eden's secret bye bye for now Way up high, there's an angel every night. Take my hand, you promised land.